Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Little Bookish Teacher and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited to share Found in Sydney by Joanne O'Callaghan and Kari Song. This was a picture book that was sent to me by Alan and Unwin, so thank you very much to them for the review copy. This is a gorgeous children's picture book that is coming out today on the 10th of January here in Australia and it celebrates all things Sydney. This is a counting adventure story so each page starts with a counting. We count from 1 to 10 and then we also throw in some other numbers in there for interesting facts about different landmarks and places in Sydney. As we journey through this book we travel to different iconic locations from Bondi Beach, to Taronga Zoo, to the Opera House, to the Sydney Harbour Bridge and everywhere in between. It is beautiful and brightly illustrated by Kari Song. This partnership is absolutely gorgeous. There is also a simplified Chinese version of this book available as well which is awesome and there is also a QR code at the back of the book where you can hear both Joanne and Kari read this story to you, one in English and one in Mandarin, which I think is absolutely amazing that we have those options these days. Another feature of this book that I absolutely loved was the landmark map at the back of the book that shows all of the locations as well as a little key to tell us which location is which. And there is also some facts about all of these locations that are not included in the main portion of the book, but also add to the depth of this book. This is a great first counting book for kids but it's also great for use in the classroom not only for the counting aspect but also if you were studying Australian landmark, if you were learning more about the different states of Australia. There is also a found in Melbourne book which I also picked up a copy of. This one I purchased myself because I do live in Melbourne and I thought this one would be fun to have. It does exactly the same thing. You travel around different locations around Melbourne from Flinders Street Station to the MCG to the Exhibition Building to the NGV and it's just fantastic. Fantastic. So these are amazing books. They'd also be really fun to use in a classroom to create your own little travel guide for a particular place, more specifically at the start of the year. You could even use them as a jumping off point to be to create your own counting book based around your school if you wanted to. I can't take my teacher hat off when I do these. I just, it's like, oh, how could I use this in the classroom? So these are fantastic. Happy book birthday to found in Sydney. I will leave all of the links where you can check out this book down below. Thank you again to the publishers for sending me a copy. If you have any questions about the book, feel free to leave them down below in the comments. Or if you want to let me know that you're here, but you don't want to leave a comment, feel free to leave an Australia flag. I hope that wherever you're on the world, you're staying safe and healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.